Gold is money, everything else is credit. Gold. This element that glows brightly in yellow is an indication of wealth. The demand for it in any country in the world is exponential. Its value has never diminished. In fact, over the years its value has continued to rise. What is real gold? How was it made? Where does this gold actually come from? Why is it worth so much? How to find fake gold? How much gold is left on this earth? Let's find out some golden facts. Gold is nothing but a chemical element and its symbol is AU. It is derived from Latin word aurum. If you look at the periodic table, its atomic number is 79, which means that the nucleus in the middle of an atom of gold contains 79 protons. Do you know how this gold was originally formed? This gold element was formed millions of years before our earth and sun was formed. Gold is not made so easily. It requires tremendous energy and temperature. When a supernova occurs, I mean when a star explodes or any two neutron stars collide with each other, they release 6000 times more heat than the heat at the sun's core. In so much heat and energy, the lighter elements combine to form higher density gold-like elements which were thrown into the universe along with all the elements when the explosion occurred. During our Earth's formation, some of these elements get deposited at the very center of the Earth, while some settle at a depth of 10 kilometers below the Earth's surface. We are able to mine and extract gold that is close to the surface of the Earth. Mining and extracting gold is extremely difficult task. Gold mines are harder to find. Even after discovering a gold mine, the gold here is mixed with stones and clay which is called gold ore. Gold must be separated from this ore. Extracting gold from this ore is a big process. It takes digging of one metric ton of ore to extract only about 6 grams of gold from it. If you are wondering why do we need to go through such a tough process of digging gold, can we not make gold on our own? The answer is absolutely not possible. We need to recreate the similar conditions under which the current gold has been made. In the past, there were many failed experiments conducted to manufacture gold. An alchemist named Henning Brand in the early 1660s believed that the gold was dissolved in the human urine. So he collected 5600 liters of urine from people and heated it. But sadly, instead of gold, a chemical called phosphorus was discovered. When there are so many elements, why is gold so valuable? The reason is, it is rarely found. The amount of gold that is mined from thousands of years is equal to the amount of iron that is mined within just one hour. This explains the rarity of gold. The Romans, Persians and Greeks are also used gold coins as currency because it does not react as quickly as the rest of the element. It doesn't get corroded like iron when exposed to water or air. Coming to elements like mercury, lead, radium, uranium, these elements are radioactive materials that are harmful to our skin. Gold is safe. In fact, there is no harm in even eating gold. Some people eat foods covered in gold. Another great attribute of gold is that it is malleable, which means if we take pure gold and hammer it, it gets flattened into extremely thin sheets but won't break. Gold's elastic property is far greater than all the elements we have in the periodic table. An ounce of gold, which is about 28 grams, can be used to make a sheet of 100 square feet. And if we try to stretch it into a thin wire, it will cover 80 kilometers long. Due to such great elastic property of the gold, the jewelry made with pure gold is likely to change their shape. So we use little bit of other elements like silver, copper, platinum and zinc to make the jewelry stronger. The amount of gold used or we can say the purity of gold is measured in carats on a scale of 0 to 24. The higher the carat number, more gold is used and less the other metal content in the jewelry. 24 carat means 99.9% .9 pure gold, while 22 carat means 91.6% gold. Most of the jewelry is made up of 22 carats. 18 carats means 75% gold and the remaining 25% is made up of different elements. This way we can find out the purity of gold. If you are wondering where does all this gold coming from, about 75% of gold evolved from gold mine by digging the gold ore and extracting as explained earlier. The remaining 25% comes through recycle. Gold is recycled from old or damaged jewelry as well as from electronics like mobiles and computers that we use. More than half of the gold used worldwide comes from gold mines in South Africa. Let's understand why gold prices rise and fall. Gold rates do not keep rising every day. Economic and political developments around the world are having an impact on gold rates. Gold prices are continued to rise either during wars or the during the pandemic in recent times drove gold to the new record prices. But once the economy is good and the stock markets are in a bull run, 
people will invest in stock market speculating higher return on the stock market than gold. As a result, demand for the gold decreases and rates will drop. If the markets are at a loss, gold is considered as a safe haven investment. If you are interested in gold sector, gold futures can be rewarding investment. If you think the gold prices will go up, then you can buy this gold futures and sell it after its price goes up. We can also make money even if gold prices are dropping by selling the gold futures first and buying after the gold price fall. This is called commodity trading. Since gold is so valuable, we hear about many scams with fake gold. This counterfeit gold is made with an element called iron pyrite, also known as fool's gold. When purchasing gold, remember that gold doesn't corrode, the color does not fade, and it's not too shiny. Also, it does not stick to magnet. Check for hallmark and the number of carats mentioned. Where is gold used? Gold is not just used for jewelry. They are also used in microchips and memory cards of our mobile phones and computers. The reason of using such precious element gold in electronics is electricity passes well through gold and as gold can be made thinner enough to fit in microchips. The outer visor on the helmet worn by astronauts has a thin gold layer as a protection from radiation of the sun. Ozone layers filters the radiation on Earth, but in the space, astronauts' eyes are hit by the radiation directly. This gold layer helps in allowing only light and reflecting the rest of the harmful radiation. Some of the satellite's interior components set into space are coated with gold coating to prevent them from being damaged by the radiation. Gold is also used in cancer medicine and dental caps. How much gold is left on Earth? The World Gold Council estimates that so far 190,000 tons of gold has been mined and only 57,000 tons of gold is remaining. By the year 2040, the gold reserves in this land are likely to be depleted. We still have a lot of gold, but in the middle rather than in the top layers of earth, which is very difficult to dig. Also in our oceans, about 20 million tons of gold is dissolved in water, but the price of extracting from it is much higher than the gold. NASA recently discovered an asteroid called 16 Psyche in our solar system containing about 2000 billion tons of gold. NASA also plans to launch a spacecraft in August 2022. Meanwhile, the demand for gold is increasing exponentially due to declining gold reserves and the increasing use of gold. That is why gold prices are likely to rise further in future. So if someone wants to give wealth to the next generation or wants to invest and get a good return, it is better to buy gold. Okay friends, if you like this video, please like as well as share it with your dear ones. To watch more upcoming interesting videos, please subscribe to my channel. Ask me why. Thank you.